Early amphibians and all their evolutionary descendants are known as tetrapods. This word means four feet, a trait of most modern land vertebrates. The first fossil amphibians date to the late Devonian period, over 350 million years ago. Like their modern relatives, such as frogs and salamanders, the first amphibians depended on liquid water for survival. Most present-day amphibians spend part or all of their lives in the water. The next important adaptations to appear enabled vertebrates to fully colonize the land and reduced their dependence on liquid water. The first fully terrestrial vertebrates evolved from ancient amphibians. Today, we would probably consider these animals reptiles. They had tough, waterproof skin and laid eggs with shells that retain water on land. The descendants of these first reptiles are a monophyletic group including all living reptiles, birds, and mammals. These animals are called amniotes, after a feature of their eggs. Reptiles expanded and diversified at the end of the Paleozoic era and became the dominant land vertebrates during the Mesozoic era. The Mesozoic era is frequently called the Age of Reptiles. Those reptiles were far more diverse than the reptiles of today. There were dinosaurs on land, flying reptiles called pterosaurs, and a variety of reptiles that had returned to the sea. The main groups of living reptiles are turtles, lizards, snakes, and crocodiles and their relatives. This traditional classification of reptiles excludes birds, a group of vertebrates that evolved special adaptations for flying. Biologists now recognize that birds have descended from a group of dinosaurs during the Mesozoic era. Birds form a clade nested among the organisms traditionally classified as reptiles. An early branch on the amniote tree led to mammals, a group of vertebrates with hair or fur, which produce milk to feed their young. Mammals increased in diversity and numbers after the extinction of the dinosaurs at the end of the Cretaceous period. The Cenozoic era is sometimes called the Age of Mammals because of their dominance. A few modern mammals still lay eggs. The platypus is an example. Marsupials give birth to live young at an early stage of development. The newborn crawls into a protective pouch on its mother's body to complete its development. Examples of this group are kangaroos and opossums. All other mammals, and most mammal species living today, are placental mammals. They're named for having a placenta, an organ that helps the exchange of nutrients and wastes between the mother and the developing offspring. Placental mammals give birth to offspring that are more developed than the young of marsupials. Some important groups of mammals are rodents, such as rats, squirrels, and beavers, bats, which are the only flying mammals, two large groups of hoofed animals, carnivores, such as cats, dogs, bears, and seals, insectivores, such as shrews, moles, and hedgehogs, and the group to which humans belong, the primates, which also includes lemurs, monkeys, and apes.